welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. I'm really excited to share with you a different kind of video today, one that has to do with Christmas shopping and holiday shopping. Now it's a time of year at the beginning of December where we start to make our list, we start to figure out what we're going to get for people and I wanted to share with you a little bit about where I'm at this year that's different than other years. So more and more we're hearing about the impact of our waste on the environment, of plastic on the environment. This year, not only am I wanting to go eco-conscious and local, but I'm also wanting to be conscious of how much I consume and how much I buy. So what would happen in other years is I would go shopping, I would have a general idea of who I wanted to buy for, um, but I would get carried away with impulse buys. Like if I saw something really cute, even if it was out of my budget, I, I might splurge for it if I had my credit card with me. Um, so this year what I'm doing differently is I am shopping with cash, the good old fashioned way like your grandmother did. My grandmother used to call her credit card that the magic little card. So without the magic little card, you have to be a lot more realistic about what your budget actually is. I'm going without my credit card, without even my debit card, I am bringing cold hard cash with me and I have calculated um, exactly how much I need for the people on my list. I really want to make sure that I spend in a way that makes me so happy to give and doesn't give me the stress of overspending and perhaps getting into debt as so many of us do over the holidays. So the thing about shopping on a budget is that sometimes we think, well, can we really get a good enough gift? Is it going to be appreciated? And part of being a conscious shopper, budget-wise and eco-wise, is that we want to make sure that the gifts that we buy are really going to be useful, that they're going to be used, that they're going to be loved. And so one of my challenges that I've set for myself is to not only find um, gifts that are within my budget and that are eco-conscious, but I also want it to be something that the person will actually be excited to receive. Instead of shopping at a mall or a, a big department store um, or online, I'm going to be shopping at a Christmas market. There are a couple of reasons for this. Malls, it's like temptation is everywhere and you just um, are more likely to shop more and um, more likely to get tempted into things that are not necessarily local or um, beneficial for the environment. Not only in a local Christmas market are you shopping locally, of course, but you're also saving on packaging. So I'm going to be bringing my reusable bag. I'm going to be asking the vendors not to put anything in bags for me. Um, and by not shopping online, I'm actually saving on all that extra packaging, the bubble wrap and all the other stuff, some of which is not even recyclable. A lot of the local vendors are environmentally conscious themselves and that is part of their passion. The thing that's so touching and I almost feel like I'm going to cry is that you get to meet the people who are making the clothes, who are making the items and talk to them about their product and hear about their passion. So even just that, spending your money on something that is supporting a local entrepreneur and helping them to grow and build their passion for me that is so special so let's go out to the nutcracker christmas market with the challenge of finding gifts for specific people in my budget that are eco-conscious and the people are going to love appreciate and actually use i'm all ready with my eggnog latte for christmas spirit and i have my reusable bags here getting ready to shop Je suis ici avec Geneviève Saint-Amour et Geneviève, c'est la propriétaire et le cerveau derrière une compagnie qui s'appelle Ecoloco. Ecoloco. Peux-tu nous parler un peu de ton background et comment tu as eu l'idée de commencer ça? En fait, je travaille en environnement depuis que j'ai 13 ans et j'ai étudié vraiment dans le domaine jusqu'au doctorat en santé environnementale. Il y a quelques années, j'ai vraiment réalisé euh, l'impact euh, des gens, la difficulté de faire la transition vers une empreinte écologique plus faible. Donc, euh, j'ai voulu trouver une façon euh, de pouvoir les sensibiliser et les amener vers d'autres habitudes. Mon challenge euh, que je me suis donné ce Noël, c'est de ne pas sortir de mon budget de cadeaux. J'aimerais que ce soit des cadeaux euh, locaux et qui sont bons pour l'environnement ou qui n'ont pas trop d'impact sur l'environnement. 
Alors, est-ce que vous avez des choses à me suggérer? On a plusieurs choses, en fait. Il y a des choses qui sont très polyvalentes, qui sont pour tous. Si je regarde, euh, admettons, les petits sacs à collation ici, premièrement, ils sont faits à partir de bouteilles de plastique recyclées. L'objectif de ces petits sacs-là, c'est euh, effectivement de d'arrêter d'utiliser des sacs Ziploc. Et ça, est-ce que c'est quelque chose qui est fait ici? Oui, c'est 100 fait euh, au Québec. Wow. Vraiment, euh, tout est fait ici. Sinon, on peut avoir un ensemble de douches ici, euh, zéro déchet. Euh, là, ça a l'air d'un sac de plastique, mais il est compostable, soit dit en passant. Ce n'est pas du vrai plastique. Dans cet ensemble-là, on va retrouver un shampoing euh, solide. Quand je pense à toutes les, les bouteilles qu'on peut sauver de de shampoing et ça, on l'utilise combien de fois celui-là? Ben, ça dépend de, du cuir chevelu, là, de, la, de la densité, mais ça peut aller jusqu'à 90 euh, shampoings. Wow! Ça, c'est un cadeau fantastique. Donc, c'est zéro déchet, c'est fait ici au Québec, c'est vegan oui. et ça dure longtemps. Et j'ai vu que tu as des très beaux cheveux. Est-ce que tu l'utilises? Oui, je l'utilise. <rire> Alors, on sait que ça fonctionne bien aussi, que c'est un, un produit de qualité. Euh, les pailles, c'est un plastique qui est à utilisation Unique. Puis même si c'est petit, ça crée beaucoup, beaucoup de dommages aux, aux océans. Ici, ce qu'on a, ce sont des pailles euh, en acier inoxydable avec euh, une petite brosse euh, pour bien les nettoyer. Donc, ce sont des pailles qui vont être bonnes euh, à vie. Ici, on a les petits euh, chiffons, en fait, euh, qui servent à remplacer euh, les essuie-tout. Euh, un simple chiffon comme ça va absorber jusqu'à 20 fois son poids en eau. On peut le réutiliser, le réutiliser, puis sauver jusqu'à 25, 30 rouleaux de, de papier suit tout. Euh, puis en fin de vie, ben, c'est compostable. <rire> euh, nous, en fait, on fait des vêtements de qualité euh, qui sont euh, coloriables. Donc, le principe, c'est de colorier, porter sa création, laver, et puis recommencer. Tout est fait ici, c'est moi qui les confectionne, je suis de la couturière et on travaille en collaboration avec des artistes de la région de Montréal pour les dessins. Celui-ci est fait en coton bio, 100%. Et à 40 ça inclut des crayons feutre euh, lavant. La boîte de crayons aussi est utilisable parce qu'on peut la dessiner. Côté. Ben, je vous souhaite beaucoup de succès parce que c'est ça que je l'achète pour ma nièce. So I'm back with my haul of Christmas items from the Christmas market and can I just say that not only is it eco-conscious and it's local but I felt like I was building a new tradition with my sister. We had such a good time, we spent quality time together, we laughed, we educated ourselves through the vendors about different cool Quebec products that are out there and um, it was just so much fun. I couldn't believe the number of amazing vendors that there were. There was something for everyone, really there were like Quebec maple syrup liqueurs and there's alpaca, I think that's alpaca, alpaca? Anyway, <laughs> these like lovely um, woolen socks and mittens and things. Oh my gosh, some of the dolls, like the handmade dolls were just so gorgeous and It, it just really put us deeper into that spirit of giving and that spirit of Christmas. And I'll be linking all of the vendors down below um, so that you can find them. Now I'm excited to share with you what I got. First of all, I went with the straws, the stainless steel straws, because my uh, stepmom, she always drinks from a straw. So I think if she doesn't have these already that she will really appreciate them. My sister-in-law is also really eco-conscious, so I think she's going to appreciate the fact that I got her that shampoo bar that also comes with this eucalyptus shower bomb. Um, so if you get a cold or the flu in the winter, you crack it open in the shower and it gives you a home spa, which is pretty cool. It also comes with a soap that is chemical-free and fragrant-free and all natural. Then I got uh, the really sweet, this is the Color Me, Um, little shirt for my three-year-old niece and I can't wait to give it to her because not only is it a really cute dress but I'm excited to see how she colors in her design with the little washable markers here um, so again I just thought that this gift was brilliant and I'm excited to give it to her last but not least I got a very special stocking stuffer for my love for my boyfriend Jeff 
because we are guilty of using paper towels up until now. And that's something that I want us to change. So what better way than to use a cloth? And if you have been watching my channel, you know that we are obsessed with our cats. So cute. <laughs> So that's it. I did manage to find a few gifts. Um, my gifts were reasonably priced. I hope it gave you some great ideas. If you liked it, please comment, give it a thumbs up, share with your friends, like the video, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell, and share in the comments below what your eco-conscious gifts are and what your goals are for your holiday shopping this year. Thank you so much, and I can't wait to see you in the next video. Namaste.